Hey everyone, Mr. Browning M1911 here, and uh, <clears throat> back with Bob behind the camera again. And uh, today we're going to do something on a little bit of a survival type uh, equipment. And I think one great item here are, well, blow guns. Here I have two different blow guns. I don't know. I'll just go ahead and put this one in here. This one is a 40 caliber. Um, this is an Aboriginal blow gun, as it's called. Uh, label right there says Aborigine Blowgun. Um, I've had this one for over 20 years so I don't even remember the company name on this one here. But this one here is a cold steel big bore. This is the five foot which doubles as a walking stick. Um, and then of course down here at the bottom um, I lost the original cap so what I did was I went and got an AR-15 barrel uh, cap just stuck it on there and it works just fine um, and this one is uh, if I remember right I think yep 625 uh, they call it the 625 Magnum uh, and both of these blow guns are really cool this one here oops this one breaks down into two pieces here just like that and of course on this one here you get to put all your your uh, uh, different types of shot you got your blunt shots here where you know you hit something in the head you knock them out and then you got your large nail darts here and then you got your smaller darts here and get that back in there and then you got your broadhead darts here they're not as much broadhead except that one's not supposed to go there <laughs> let me see if I can find a broadhead okay here we go yeah I don't know if you can kind of see that on the camera or not we're outside here so the sun is playing tricks on us sometimes and whatnot um, each one or both of these blow guns have been safety checked their chambers are empty so you can see here so no accidental discharges here. Okay. Now, again, with both blow guns, you get a lot of different uh, darts and a lot of different shots. Uh, this one here, this one's for the big bore, the cold steel big bore. You get all different kinds of, these are uh, broadhead. And then you get the, your, your big bamboo uh, darts. Here we go, we have a bamboo dart out. It doubles as a skewer. Yep. You know, if you don't have any skewers while you're out there and stuff like that, yeah, these things will work perfectly for that. Um, oops. Got some more of those. Okay. And then here, in this baggie here, I had some of the broadhead. There we go. Really nice. I've lost a few of these in practicing. And then here are my targets. Here I have a New York City sewer rat with a Derek Jeter hat on. And of course my saber tooth prairie dog. So oh, I even have steel wool in here. Remember, steel wool and a 9 volt battery you can actually start a fire. Okay, if you need to have a um, or start a fire out there. Let's see here. Oh yeah, here we go. I'm looking for all my other and then of course these are for the 40 caliber. These are extras. Go with this one here. These are more extra. Home of Aborigine Blue Guns. Cajun Archery, Logan, Utah. That's where this one's out of. Okay. And there's some more there. Now here's another one for the big bore. Cold steel big bore. <coughs> Pardon me. This is a blunt. And what I found is these ones don't work very well. Um and I've tried to fire these ones through the big bore 
and they, they just don't seem to want to work right. Um, but I'll figure it out later. And then, of course, I have my Dennis the Menace. Slingshot. Another good thing to have and, and to learn. Okay. Uh, it's always good to have a good slingshot because you want to learn how to use a slingshot and whatnot. And of course, I have an extra band for it in case this one doesn't work very well. Or I want to turn it into a sling bow. Here I have glass BBs. Or, well, not BB, sorry. Slingshot. Glass. And I know I have... Oh, here are the uh, steel slingshot from Daisy. So I have steel and glass. And then a couple of extra smaller steel shot. Oh, and this is my survival bucket. This is where I keep a lot of stuff in here, uh, survival-wise. <coughs> that's pretty much it. But in the future here, this is just a video to show you what we have here. And uh, I like both of these blow guns. I've used them for quite a while. This one here I bought about 10 years ago. This one about 20 years ago. Um, Cold Steel, they make really good blow guns. Um, they make different types. This one is a five footer um, and it's an all one piece because like I said again it doubles as a walking stick. And Cold Steel makes a four foot one and they also make a five footer that breaks down so that you can put it in your pack. Um, but I really like this one because I can use it as a walking stick and then of course here it has a holder for any type of um, darts you want to put in there. Um, that's pretty much about it. What is this thing in here? Oh, that's nothing. Okay, so and then of course in this pouch here, because I have a a, a, a crossbow, I have a 50 pound crossbow. I have different types of uh, uh, bolts and I just keep them in this pouch here, a molly pouch that I can put on my belt over here on the, well pretty much on the left side or the right side, whichever side I want to put it on and carry a bunch of bolts in there for my crossbow. And my little 50 pounder, she works great, you know, she's not the best in the world, but I could probably go get a small 80 pounder too. Um, yeah, this is pretty much it. Um, hope you liked the video. Uh, there's not much I did, <laughs> did talk about or anything, but uh, for survivalism, you know, if you need a weapon of some sort that is really quiet out there, of course, blow guns, you're not going to make any noise, you're not going to attract any attention um, if you're trying to hide from anybody or anything that you need to hide from. Um, even uh, a good. Uh, Slingshot works great in that scenario too. Uh, so blowguns, <clears throat> slingshots, crossbows, even a, a standard compound bow or a recurve bow, those come in real handy for a survival type situation. Um, or making this into a sling bow. And uh, I hope everybody liked this one here. Hit like, uh, subscribe. Leave any comments down below, <clears throat> but like I said in, in a future video, um, we're going to try to figure out and we're going to uh, actually test fire each one of these and just show the, the immense damage that they can do um, on certain targets. Um, usually I'm firing at cardboard boxes with these stickers on them, uh, but you know, you can shoot at uh, wood and I have seen one YouTube video where a guy was shooting these bamboo uh, darts through the cold steel at a very thin steel plate and <laughs> he was actually getting penetration um, actually I think it was more like an aluminum plate or something like that uh, but other than that please uh, hit subscribe share 
and uh, hopefully you'll see us in the future video. This is Mr. Browning, M1911 out.